Pete Bouchard joining us right now. Did you watch the game yesterday? I did, yeah. I, yeah. I mean, finally, we have something to watch. Right, for, yeah. Right? You guys, we got points on the board. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's, yeah. it's good, a good feeling, right, to know that we have something to build on. Right? Yeah. Uh, speaking of something to watch for, by the way, the forecast over the next 10 days, granted it's a Monday, it looks like a Monday behind this here. The yeah. forecast over the next 10 days looks like something that we can look forward to. It's all dazzling. Tons of sunshine all the way through the next 10 days. Um, you know, we have some clouds interrupting from time to time. Temperatures do their thing. But, yeah, it's dry. Uh, hardly a drop uh, in the forecast. You can see the foliage looking brilliant across the Commonwealth. It's really good stuff. Uh, you could argue the peak is here across at least parts of northern Mass through the Merrimack Valley and through Lowell and back into Worcester, too. I mean, it's dipping close to that through Orange and Lemonster and Keene, getting right at peak, if not beyond that, too. This is from our friends at Explore Fall, by the way. Boston South, yeah, we'll give it some time, especially down in the Common. That takes a long time, more like late October. In many cases, cool snap through midweek at least, perhaps even into Thursday now. A frosty start on Thursday morning, although we'll be close to frost territory tomorrow morning and also Wednesday morning. That means temps in the mid-30s and upper 30s in some of the colder suburbs. Milder turn by the end of the week. We'll get right out of it. There is some sun. I am uh, corrected here at through Worcester, at least, and that is pushing over towards Marlboro. There's also a round of showers right behind it, by the way. And if you don't believe me, look at this clearing that's going in Worcester right now, punching into Natick and Framingham, even in Boston. We could see a few rays, but this is always deceiving, right? It's funny how the clouds just squeeze back in. You get that glaring sun for uh, maybe a couple minutes, and then you think, oh my gosh, it's here. And then the clouds swallow us whole once again closer to the coast, and I expect that to happen too. So, yeah, glimpses, but the clearing, the wholesale clearing is coming later tonight too. 55 now in Worcester, nice boost to the temp there. 48 in Lawrence, 49 in Nashua. Oof, it was raw for the second straight day in northeastern Mass, and unfortunately for the Topsfield Fair, ah, it's tough to go out that way, but hey, sometimes that happens. Look at the snow flying in upstate New York and the Adirondacks. Okay, don't look there. And then the upper level low that's with it is also shuffling in the cold. So tomorrow's high temperatures only in the middle 50s. This is with a breeze too. And in the morning, we'll start with wind chills in the 30s. There'll be a wind coming out of the west northwest that'll make it feel much colder in the morning than 54 degrees. You have been warned. There's also one on Wednesday morning too that feels chilly, like 30s and maybe even some upper 20s in the highest elevations in central mass, you know, elevated terrain back near Gardner and also around Worcester, too. Oof. And then Thursday, the frosty start for some will start to recover, by the way. The greatest chance is obviously Thursday here in the chart, but you were close to even tomorrow morning and Wednesday morning, 34, 35. This is the hard freeze territory you can see on the chart here. Uh, in the suburbs. And when I say the suburbs, this is like Bedford and Waltham. Not necessarily Boston, although I do expect us to be in the upper 30s, even in the city on Thursday morning. Worcester uh, may also be around 34, 35 because of the breeze. But 36, 36, you can see that Friday into Saturday, and then we recover into the weekend, too. The suburbs will start warming up. But the overnight low temperatures dip pretty good here. Thanks to the radiational cooling, not a chance for any drops of rain. Friday, there's a slight chance there's a storm system at sea that tries to back up into us. Not totally convinced that that's going to happen, or that we're going to have some wet weather on that day. But the temperature trend, you can see all the way up at the end of the week. Make plans is a high confidence forecast now for the weekend. Whatever happens on Friday with any kind of storm that gets close to us should just produce clouds. But it's gone by the weekend and we can resume our warm up. And that's a huge jump even between Thursday, Friday into the weekend with temperatures in the 70s. One last hurrah? What do you say, in the 70s? Well, no, there might be more 70s next week. <laughs> if we go into Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll see at 4.30. It's like we're ready for fall, but it's like, mm, just kidding. <laughs> Thanks.